by Crest Experience, Michael Dewey Robin. in my chest. Like an alien in a Sigourney Weaver's movie, I thought it was going to burst out, screech, and run across the floor. <laughs> the sound of the blood rushing in my ears drowned out all the noises around me. I could barely hear the yelling of the seven-foot-tall, 400-pound muscle man yelling at me in the Crest grocery store. <laughs> he had followed my children and I in from the parking lot, and he Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, guests, friends, we all have conflict in our lives. And my crest experience demonstrates three steps that I found invaluable in resolving all forms of conflict. The first is to breathe. Conflict causes stress in our bodies, which can trigger a fight or flight response. That heart pounding, the blood rushing in our ears is just two of the symptoms. Taking deep breaths gives our muscles the oxygen they need in case we need to fight or to flee. But more importantly, it gives our brain the oxygen it needs to make the right decision. Everyone take a moment right now. Take a deep breath in, hold it for a second, and slowly let it go. This intentional breathing not only gives your brain oxygen so you make the right decision, it gives you an opportunity to gather your thoughts so you can think rationally instead of out of fear and emotion, but it also gives you time to collect your senses if you're really mad. The second step is to understand the needs of the other person. The me from 20 years ago would tell you that what this man who's yelling at me in the crest needed was to be punched in the throat. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm a little wiser than I was 20 years ago. I didn't punch him in the throat, and my children did not see me get hauled away in handcuffs the rest of that day. I am a little smarter now. I knew to breathe, gather my thoughts, and take a moment to understand what did this man mean. See, he was mad about something that happened in the parking lot. See, in my car, I was about to pull into a parking space, and he came up blocking that parking space, because he wanted to turn down the aisle that I was blocking. Neither one of us wanted to give. That's why he was mad. That's why he followed my daughters and I into the grocery store, and that's why he was yelling. But that doesn't tell you what he needed in that moment. All he needed was for me to listen to what he had to say. What did it cost me to listen to? The third step in resolving conflict is to let it go. And letting it go can be particularly difficult if our ego has been bruised or if we feel that we've personally been injured in some way. And as this man, feeling that he had properly yelled me into my place, turned to walk away, the best thing I could do was to let it go. What I should have done was let it go. <laughs> Unfortunately, that me from 20 years ago that didn't take time to breathe got control of my mouth. And as he turned and walked away, I couldn't help but be a little bit snarky and say, bye. <laughs> Fortunately for me, he was better practiced at letting it go, or the blood rushing in his ears drowned out that sound. Stress be like the, can, the flame on a candle. It's great when the lights go out and you need a candle, you need that light to see, but once the lights come back on, you don't need to let it continue to burn. It could burn your house down. The same way, holding on to the stress of conflict and letting it burn away at us will burn us up. And as I walked around the grocery store, continuing my shopping for the day, my stomach felt like there was a slinky going down the stairs. My chest was tight. <clears throat> the hair on the back of my neck stood on end. My daughter mentioned that when he was 
yelling at me, she was standing by ready to jump in in case she needed to fight at me. She hasn't yet learned this more zen approach to conflict resolution. <laughs> Just let it go. Letting it go is not easy, but it helps if we remember to breathe. Understand the needs of the other person. And when it's all over, let it go. These three steps I find to be critical in resolving all forms of conflict. So the next time you're facing conflict in your life, or a giant yelling at you in the grocery store, practice those three steps. Breathe. Understand the needs of the other person. 